Ask we are Lord Boethius faithful. Have you come to test your metal? This is your last mistake! We are forged by Boethius' example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blade. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. The Lord of Thrones, deceiver of nations, devourer of trillion. Shadows, goddess of destruction, he who destroys and she who gives. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, Girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before you. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome her as one of us. You must the You can't beat me! Do you wish to test yourself against me? A well-placed word or a well-placed dagger, both can achieve Still here. Fine. What? What? Will do. Ah! A well placed word. Flesh is so oh, distasteful. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Tell me, why have you slain this one who trusted you here upon my shrine? My favor. My good pleasure is not some trophy for mortal sport. I should slay you for such insolence. Were you certain in your purpose, you would have no need to apologize. You have much to learn, but you have proven your will is strong. And your heart is devoid of pity. So perhaps you are not entirely useless. We shall soon find out. Listen, all of you! Hear me. I have need of a warrior. Only the most ruthless, cunning, and agile will do. You have gathered here night after night, sacrificing fools upon my shrine, and sparring aimlessly with yourselves. But which among you truly exceeds the rest? Prove yourselves to me. 
I have a special task for whichever of you is left standing. Ferocity and prowess in combat. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? I have little need for mindless thralls. My servants serve their own purposes. But if their will is insufficient, nor suitably aligned with mine, I simply destroy them. Which brings me to my present concern. My previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced, in the traditional fashion. I am loath to utter his name. One cannot erase a thing if it has a name to be remembered. You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. For a time he served his purpose, but that time has ended. He uses my gifts for his own amusement, and the only amusement I tolerate is my own. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can, for this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail, a gift fit only for my true champion. May your will carve itself upon the world. Picked a bad guy to get off.
You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. You may keep my ebony mail, a token of my appreciation to my new champion. Its gifts will resonate with your talent. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be.